All right, guys, welcome to the playoff uh, atmosphere in, in the air. Uh, today we're going to be running a playoff game with uh, the Atlanta Falcons. Uh, I think this dude's name is Gustin something or another, but uh, he made the playoffs. I think he's actually 11-5. and five. I'm actually 10-6. and six. I joined the league late and finished out, uh, finished uh, like 11-0, and uh, or um, I think I finished like 6-0 and oh, uh, to make the playoffs. I was actually third in the division, came up strong. Uh, you're just gonna when talk you should kick the ball, which he's a smart player. Um, but today I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do this a playoff a little playoff series every day every year um, every uh, season for this connected careers mode uh, for two reasons. One, I want to show the proof of the game, and I want to because we I actually ran into some conflicts earlier on in the day. I actually had this game about wrapped up, and uh, for some reason we had a weird disconnect, and we actually have had two other weird disconnects in this game. So I just want to get it out there. I want to put everything on the table, and I want to show people what really went on in this game. And the second reason, I think it's just an enjoyable game for you to watch. I'm running the Arizona offense, as well as my personal, my favorite 4-4 defense. So uh, that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm actually running a little differently to, uh, to kind of go with the league rules, uh, because there are some different some some rules I have to honor in this league. Um, so I'm going to try and do that. Uh, so we're going to start out here with our standard motion snap. And he got good positioning there. That was a bad read. I think I had an out route, but I didn't hit it. Uh, this dude runs a lot more man coverage than I thought. Most people in, uh, I don't know. Um, so we're going to hit him a lot more with the gun tight than we are with the spread. Uh, even though we can beat him from spread, I want to go ahead and get down into the gun tight. And the crap actually bumped the motion button. Go back, go back, go back. I want to get a die out there, make my patch will drag concept. And nothing, nothing, nothing. But I have my check down. Read and what in the? Oh. See, that's the thing, man. The, the first game we played, I had to fight through a ton of adversity, and actually started to pull away in the second half. And then we got the disconnect. And then the second game we played, we got like one playoff. I got a first down, and then we had the disconnect. And then the third game, we got two possessions, and I got a pick. And then we had the disconnect. So, that's just kind of the, the story here. I'm going to do a little something different. You see how he's shading those corners out to protect against the out routes? So, I'm just going to drag both dudes. One of them is going to be wide open. And actually has nobody over the top, so I'm going to go ahead and hit him up top with Donald Driver, who in this league has like 90 catch in traffic. So, he's a big target. Uh, and that's what you want to do when you have one on one. Go ahead and take those streaks, but most people won't give you that one on one. This guy actually does do that a lot. Uh, but that's his. That's just pick your. It's pick your boys with his offense, guys. I'm telling you, uh, his offense is really good. There's my my running back Joseph Adai. And actually, I should not have done that. In this league, you're not allowed to go no huddle under certain situations, because uh, they want to try and keep the league a little bit more sim style, more real life football. Even though the Patriots do run on not on no huddle, they want to. In Madden, no huddle is so effective that. People that are really, really good can really put their foot down on people who are not very good. They want to keep the playing field even, which I understand. So I'm going to try and not go as much no huddle. And actually, I think it makes it better for me because when I can actually think through what I'm going to be doing, I just like to run no huddle because I hate the, the runoff. Uh, that's my personal reason for running no huddle. But here I'm going to try and hit him with the curl route. I'm going to see if I can't get a curl route, kind of, kind of establish these curl routes since he's kind of starting to take away the out routes. Yeah, we should get the curl. Nope. Uh, so that's a good play by him. I'm going to take my three. Uh, that was a that was kind of a test. I wanted to see how the curl routes were going to work. And I should have tested him on first down, not third and six. But so I kind of figured now he's starting to take away that. So uh, I'm going to watch out for that. Uh, real quick, I'm going to take a quick timeout. As you know, I usually try to take one timeout in every video. Uh, I'll be right back. Now.
Alright guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. For some reason I never think to go to the bathroom or get a drink or anything before the video starts. I always end up wasting time during the video. But anyway. So we took our three there simply because uh, we just didn't fourth and sixth is not a good idea. I think I, I do think it's even against the rules to do that, but I rarely go for it on fourth down when I'm in scoring range. Uh, this dude's offense, uh, you guys are gonna see he runs a lot of uh, the same stuff, but he, he's got his reads now, so he's very effective with it. Uh, but I've kind of uh, we got the kind of a scouting port since we haven't. Uh, here I'm gonna go the four four. He likes to draw from this. Let's see if he does. Yep. Draw. But he's actually got DeMarco Murray on the team, which is one of the reasons why he's the his offense is so good is he can run or pass uh, we're gonna get that locked. there's our there's that uh, 4, four, four, four defense I think we got a block shot or something crazy happened on that one but we got in uh, we got in way way quicker than we should have we only brought like two or three people um, I'm third down and 12 now but though what I've been saying though if you can get them into third down and long uh, that's when you're going to have your most success, and he's going to come down this whole Press this tight end. I'm going to use or bump him. Let him throw that running back streak if he wants to, but the running back streak shouldn't be very effective. Come back on that, and I should have stayed on that. That's going to give up seven. That's a good call. That's yeah, bad 13. He's. I don't know why he. I don't know why I thought he would just go to another read. I should have just stayed with that. That was stupid. I that was stupid. So good play by him. Um, so I'm going out seven to three. If this disconnects, I'm gonna be so mad because it's gonna look like I tried to quit the game. But hopefully we'll finally get to finish this game out. Uh, we've tried three times, and every time there's something, some weird reason why we can't get it. So what I'm going to try and be doing now is I'm going to try and get, i got to get seven here. If I go down six to seven with his ball at half, it's going to be trouble. I'm really going to have to fight hard to get back in the game. You know, I could probably do it. Uh, it's just not ideal. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of go away from Crowflat for a minute here. I'm going to start establishing something else. So I'm going to go to the quick pass. I'm still going to run curl flats, but I'm going to run slants and streak drag. So a slant and a streak. And you see, because he's, he's not in any position to play a drag route uh, when he's got those dudes out so far. So it's just a quick read on the outside. That, that's something I don't really talk about much because it rarely ever actually happens. Someone doesn't really do that. Um, but this guy's for whatever. Uh, he thinks that's the way to do it. Um, guys, you stop curl flats by calling coverage sink. It's just the way it is. Uh, you're not going to stop it by doing anything else. In my opinion. I mean, you could stop it by maybe user bump and this and that and that, but if you want a solid, just sound way to stop it, just call coverage you see. And now we're going to look. As we, what in the world? Wow. <laughs> don't, don't let me get. Ah, snap. Alright. He must be putting him in a yellow. Uh, it looks like he's manned up, but I don't think that's what happened. I think he put him in a uh, hook zone. So this dude's actually seen the offense so much he can adjust to it so well. So, but okay, if you want to be bold like that, we got something for you. All right. I don't know where she's been at all day. Man. Not a good way to start a playoff game, especially when I was saying all the way he has never had a lead. When he actually hasn't, but in well, this game he's bringing his A game, so I don't know. But, uh, so he's starting to lock up spread. I think it's mainly because he's been able to see it so much. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the bunch after this. I'm going to try and go to the bunch, yeah. That's what I'm going to do. Go mesh post here and just kind of get away from spread for a little bit. I've got to throw some other stuff at him because he's... He's really doing a good job on spread, so I'm going to start attacking the inside because he's 
what spread does is it kind of protects the outside of the field. And um, I'm actually going to go to one of my best plays here. Hold on. Yeah, here we go. Let's go. I'm going to throw it early because. And I know. Ah, shoot. Daggone it! God, oh, that was so stupid of me. I shouldn't have gone to that play so freaking soon. Uh, I ran into a cross stop there. That was a dumb idea because I just it screwed me over. It really did. Fast lead. Catch it. Get on there, Jones. Good job, buddy. And now I'm gonna go right back to the draw. I'm gonna go to a draw here from the split. Split gun. No, I'm not actually. I'm going to mesh post again. Just to kind of establish drags. Because uh, I know he worries. Oh, jeez. I really wanted to hit that but uh, He's blitzing nobody. <laughs> Complains that I break the rules and then blitzes nobody. Which I think is against the rules. But whatever. I mean, I don't really care because I can deal with it. But people who aren't as advanced or as knowledgeable about the game. They may not be able to deal with it. Now we're going to try and attack Curl Flats here. And we don't get what we want. Wait for it. Streak. Fast to the inside. Oh, 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 Where did that safety come from, guys? Oh, I wanted that touchdown. And see, this dude's not bad. This dude's actually one of the best dudes I've played so far. So I'm not going to say he's bad. Uh, as far as in the league, he's probably one of the best. Um, the dude literally is very difficult because his offense is very, fairly good. And his defense is a lot of stick work, which is what defense is this year in my well, not in my opinion, but what a lot of people think defense is. So, I mean, he's doing a good job of defending kind of what I want to do. And again, blitzing one person. But see, when you only blitz one person like this, you leave someone like Aaron Rodgers. He can kind of do whatever he's going to do. So, in my opinion, if you want to drop everybody back, I don't really care. Because it's not going to help you. Because what's going to happen is you're vulnerable to something else now. And we're gonna run that. We're gonna run that in. See, because he's what he's doing is he's not blitzing anybody at all. He's blitzing maybe one, two people max. And I'm going for two here because I want to make it a three point game. Uh, actually, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna be that way. I'm gonna go ahead and kick the field goal. In most cases, I would go for two there, but there's a rule in the in the forms about going for two, so I don't want to. I don't want to mess with the rule any. Um, but I mean. He's not really blitzing anybody. He's blitzing maybe one, two people. What, he's, what, what people don't understand is when they do that, they really leave the middle open, vulnerable to draws and quarterback heaps, uh, quarterback runs and stuff, scrambles, and it's it's the way a lot of people actually play defense this year. Is they drop everybody back. You're not going to pass on them very much, but they're going to be able to run on you. So I mean, it, it is pick your poison to a certain extent. So. Here, I know what he's going to do. He's going to run that same play. So I need to make sure I'm watching. There's the draw. I have a do block. Yep, there it is. It's good D by me. And see, the Mike Will Cross is kind of the play for him. It kind of gets everything he wants to do. And there's quick reads, which is a good call. Now onto two deep from 4 4. He didn't do very good against two deep from four four the first time, so I'm actually gonna hit it with him again. Yep, he's not gonna be, he's not gonna stop two deep because he's not. He is not blocking. Uh, 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 he is not honoring two deep. That's for sure. I'm just gonna watch right here. Yep, see he's not. Yep, he's not gonna honor it. And the way you beat two, the way you beat that blitz, guys is block line aggressive that's all you have to do and the blitz won't come in right but since he's not doing that I'm gonna know that and now I can save it for situations like this crap I got caught up on my dude ah this is so dumb see that's the BS I'm talking about guys this dude he found a glitch play what happens is let me just tell you what he did. Uh, what, ha what he did was he found a play 
that beats every coverage in the game. Unless you use her defended. Okay? So that play will beat every coverage in the game unless you use her guarded. Uh, which is exactly what I'm going to have to do. Problem is, when you go so quick like that, it's very difficult for me to get on that player and still set up pressure because the pressure. Oh my gosh. See, this is the thing. I fight through so much crap all the time. People don't understand that. I need, to get, I need this pressure to come in quick. There's a drag. Miss a line and draw his map. That's where's my fumble? Come on, see Matthews. <sighs> what people don't understand though is it's very hard. And that's why I use zone across stop the way I do is because you have to user guard it. It's, it. I only go to it maybe like I said five times a game possibly. And the reason it's so effective is because it just you just you get misaligned. There's really nothing you can do about it. Here I'm gonna bump it just tied in here. Actually, you may be running a counter. So I need to watch out for it. Uh, nope, screen. Can I get my pick? He threw it right into my dude. <sighs> so now remember that he was having trouble with the two deep, so I'm going to pop him with him again. This time I'm going to bring it from the left. That's Raji. Yep, there's a stop in the fourth and five. He has to pop. Unless he goes for it here. And, okay, good. He's punting. Perfect. So we got the stop we needed to get back in the game. Now we just have to go down and score. So, again, the two deep, all you have to do is block line aggressive, and you're going to beat those two blitzes I run. But what happens is if you block line aggressive, then it opens yourself up to some of the other blitzes I do. And there's that glitch punt that everyone's been doing lately. Where your guy will never catch the ball. And this dude said he... <laughs> whatever. Talked to this dude on the phone. He seemed like a nice dude, and we were kind of cool. But man, that third disconnect really ticked him off, or whatever. But I don't know. Felt like he was lying to me all along, but whatever. He, you know, now we have proof he's lying because, especially if he tries to disconnect again, we're gonna see that. And see, he's dropping everybody back, so I have the draw. Uh, and you kind of have to give up the draw. So I'm just gonna keep running no huddle. Until I get in the lead, and then I'm going to sit back on cruise control, but I made a couple of early mistakes, and unfortunately, gave him an opportunity to get a little more ahead than he wanted to get. Let's see, he's just going to drop back. He's just going to drop that DT back. I'll take that draw. So, here I'm actually going to go to the zone. I'm going to go to the tight, and I'm going to run a... Uh, Give me a block. That was a stick play. I think I went over that in the uh, breakdown. The reason I'm no huddle is just to get back in the game. Once I get back in the game, then I can sit back, and, like I said, but I kind of need to get back in this game before I let it get away from me. Let's, uh, I can use or catch that. Go to HB Will now. I think he's gonna have to start blitzing me. I mean, if coverage is not working for him. He's gonna have to. He will eventually blitz. And you see, he does there. Right call, right time. And I'm gonna torch it. And Logan should not get catch, but this corner might be able to catch it. Can I get in? Yes. All right. So now I'm back in the lead. Now I'm back in the center. Uh, I still am not comfortable with this lead because it's only three. And he can just go down right here, score, get ball back, go down, score, be up ten. Or be at 11 before I even touch the ball again. So I got to get a stop. I got to continue to lock him up on deep. He's not really doing well against the two deep from the 4 4. Um, so I'm going to save that. I'm going to save that blitz. I'm only going to put that blitz in there when I really, really need it. Uh, one, like, for example, third and six or something like that. When that comes up, I'm going to be using that blitz until he stops it. But if he doesn't stop it, I'm going to continue, continue, continue to. To do it after I set it up with all the other stuff I'm gonna be doing. 
So now I'm assuming he's going to run a draw. So I'm just going to crash line in. He doesn't. He's going to curl in. Yep. That's good. That's a good play. That's curls from the clouds. But Mike Will Cross is kind of the play for this dude because he just kind of like that's kind of where he goes to. Yeah, now there's the draw. I'm just going to go there. I mean, there's no reason to just let him run that on me, so I'm just going to go in there and lock it up. Third and seven. Uh, I'm actually going to go. Yeah, I'm not going to die. Can I get. Shoot. Yeah. See, so, yeah, it's kind of lagging you know, up. That'll be rushed. I'm going to run that too deep from the left again. There it is. So, 17-14. I should get ball back now. And hopefully I can go up by 10 and half. If I go up by 10 and half, it's going to be tough for him to come back. So, I never really ran the two deep the first couple times we played. I, I kind of laid off of it. Because I just wanted to... I felt like this dude was good enough to know how to stop stop at blitz. But, I mean, apparently he's not. And see, here's that kick. But he actually messed up. So, now I have a nice skill position. But... Uh, anyway, guys, for those of you who don't know, too deep, all you have to do is slide line to the aggressive. Um, and then, again, if you want to stop the edge pressures, you want to slide the line to the side that that pressure's on, or just block a running back. That's all you have to do to stop these blitzes. Uh, but if you don't honor them, they are very effective. Yeah, see, he got one in there on me. That should not be right. No, I need, I need no huddle here because I'm going to get a snap. I want to get a snap off before two minutes. I want to run a draw here, and um, so that's why I'm running the new huddle. Here we break one up the middle with a die. See, that's what happens when you just continually. Does he even leave? Nope. Okay. Let me take a picture. I don't want to take a picture yet. I'll take a picture when he leaves. If he leaves, but I mean, right there, guys. I ran the draw because number one, I kind of had to. If I, if you guys pay any attention to the way I play defense, I know you have to run draw uh, on second and long because most people are going to play coverage deep. Uh, I'm gonna run another draw here. I just don't think he's actually. Yeah, he is blitzing. Yeah, he is blitzing. I need to get. Yeah. If that safety stays down, I know I have a streak. He doesn't stay down. I'm we'll pass lead up here. There's seven. So, yep. Now I have a chance to go up again. I can get a stop here and go back and score three. Um, because I can I can get a pick. I can get a fumble. I can get a couple sacks. I mean, I'm still looking to score one more time. I'm, I'm never comfortable with the lead until I'm up by maybe thirty. Because uh, the way this game plays, how offense is so good, uh, in my opinion, it's very difficult to play defense. Uh -oh. So now I'm up 14:24, and I'm going to start getting into the. Uh, I'll start going to the three through five now because what happens is he kind of has to throw. And when I get an opponent to where they have to throw, I automatically, I think the 3 through 5 is by far uh, one of the best, if not the best, defenses in the, in the game for this. And, and bench, bench, give me that. My dude's right there. So he ran bench there. Um, I knew that because he didn't motion the running back. I mean, he wants to run kind of catch on to those tendencies as people. Now he's going to run Falcon Cross to the right. Yep. So I'm going to act like I'm going on to the running back. He can actually throw it. Okay. So just take some notes. Sit back. Take some notes. He wants to throw that running back on that little wheel route, guys. And that will not be open next time he wants to do it. So I need to be out there. And there's your draw. Man, DeMarco Murray is a tank. 
for whatever reason, dude, DeMarco Wright always, for me, breaks the tackle. Yep, and then when he doesn't, when he, you see there, when we have the wheel route covered, he goes to that little drag. So watch this. Ah, I want you out there, Moses. Get out there. Dang it. See how I kind of bring pressure from one side and coverage out of it? There's Bench again. There's my dude. I mean, come on! Give me my interception. Oh my gosh, this dude's offense is way too good um, for when you have the right play call on to not get your interception. Come on, Bishop, I need you. There's your little cut route. There we are. So now I have him in second and ten. And I know he's gonna continue. He's gonna continue to go to that play. Uh, cause that's his bread and butter. Actually, here he's gonna throw the streak to the tight end. Give me that. Are you serious? Are you serious? Guys, I was there. All right, I'm gonna send the blitz from four four on him. And he's gonna what he's gonna do here? He's gonna flip it. And he's gonna. Look, I got the running back covered. I'm just watching the crossing route, and I'm right there. And for whatever reason, he completes it. So that sums up this dude. <laughs> that sums up my <laughs> this defense in this game, guys. When they have a good play like this, it's very difficult to stop because we almost got a block there. Um, when they have such a good offense like this, such a good, uh, especially players, personality. I mean, he has probably the best overall personnel-wise offense, most complete, most balanced. He has Gonzalez, White. I think he has Des Bryant. I think he has um, Demarco Murray. So I mean, he has a ton of team, uh, a ton of talent uh, on this team. And I think he even has Julio Jones. I'm not even sure who all he has on this team, but I know his personnel is fabulous or fabulous. Uh, I do it. Uh, his personnel is phenomenal. So, and when I get in this situation, I'm just going to go to my best play here, zone across stop, and see if I can't get a streak. And I actually do get a good streak. Can I get a catch? Catching traffic, Cobb. So now I got nine seconds. What I need to do is I need to get a field goal here. So I'm actually going to go right back. I need a play that I can. Yeah, I know what play to run here. Since like he he honors curl flat so well. So I'm going to throw this zone of shallow at him, and I'm going to try and get either a touchdown or a humongous play. So I got to look for it, throw it, get down. Are you serious? He dropped it. <sighs> Son of a gun. I still have time. To throw one streak, get out of bounds, or a call to you. So I'm gonna snap the ball, I'm gonna throw the streak, and then I'm gonna get down. Snap, throw, and he. Ah. Come on! Okay, uh, here I'm just gonna streak the outside dude and uh, hope that he blows the coverage. Throw it up. No, I can't catch that. Okay. So, decent half. I mean, I think he scored way more than he deserved. I think he should have scored seven. That was it. Uh, the 14 he got, the other 14 was kind of iffy uh, in terms of drives. I was right on it like three times. And for whatever reason, I could not make the play. Um, so, I have to get a stop here. Like, it's imperative. In my opinion, I have to get a stop. Because now he can run. Now he can kind of be balanced. Uh, he won't pass ball every play here now, so kind of have to watch out for that. Get, why do I have linebacker rushing here? Well, I tried that out. Um, let's man him up here and go cover, or, uh, cover one. Yeah, I'm gonna watch out for verticals. Ah, my dude's right there! 
You know what? Since you can't block it, because you're an idiot, take the two deep. Can't run on the four four. You just can't do it. So now it forces you to pass. You know what I'm saying about balance? So he's going to try to run, and he did. Um, so I'm going to throw four three stack. Seam D at him. So. Oh, son of a gun! <sighs> I can't click off. I I don't know why this. Sorry about that, guys. Sometimes I get a little perturbed. Here you see three man pressure off the right. Good draw there. Good draw there. Throw it again. He's not gonna run the draw again. I guarantee he was gonna. He's gonna throw it again. He's gonna throw it right again. Um. Mike will cross. Ah, crap! I didn't call that. So I gotta watch this route. I'm actually gonna bump him. He just flipped it. Nope. Falcon cross. Um. Uh, so I'm gonna jump at that dude and I'm gonna come back. Boom! Right there! Oh my goodness! See, that's what I don't understand, guys. Don't understand that. Got to do it out there. There you go. Where's the pressure at? So I think he's starting to adjust to the too deep or the. Uh, actually, that wasn't even too deep. So no wonder it didn't get in. Draw. That was a given. That was a dumb call by me. I don't know what I was doing. There. So I'm all over this. Pick it off, Raji! <laughs> oh my goodness! This dude, I am so I am like inches away from a pick, and if I ever get a pick on this dude, like I'm gonna be so overjoyed. There's your streak. There's your crossing right underneath it. I'll take that back for six. Let's go! Ugh. Told you guys I was going to explode if I got an interception, man. There we freaking go. He goes out on top, Brad Jones. That's right. Oh, man. Brad Jones got hurt on that. Oh, my gosh. That's dumb. Okay, so now what has to happen here is I'm in control of this game now. And I'm just going to go right into the blitz beating pipe. I'm just going to scramble. He has no spy. Rogers is roided. So I'll just get down. Um, so now what I'm... The game plan now is just to slow the game down. So I'm going to check down into the uh, weak slot formation. And basically I'm going to use I'm gonna use Logan still because he's so athletic and explosive. Uh, but the key here is now I just have to kind of keep it going without screwing it up. So that, you know... I'm going to keep everything looking similar. I'm going to play some chess with him. And I'm going to go out route actually here. So double wheel out route. Streak on the left and a drag. So here. And that's what I was looking for. And I get my block. Logan has the, the agility. Now I'm off to the races. That actually counted as a run. That's cool. Because huh. it was a backwards pass. So it counted as like a, a run. Or a toss. Which is basically what it is. Basically, just to run. Uh, but what it does is it makes you honor a quick pass, so you can't just be blitzing everyone when I check down into this formation. <coughs> so now he's going to be blitzing a lot of people here. You see, uh, he's blitzing them inside. So I'm going to flip the play to the right. I'm actually going to motion Nelson over here. I want him to follow me. He doesn't, so I'm going to snap it right there. Get an inside seal. Get an outside, and then I get a seal for ten. Quick yards there, and now it's basically uh, time where I have to score to put the game away. Once I, if I score here, the game is all but over. Because what's going to happen is he's going to get the ball back. I've been on his neck all game on defense. He's going to get the ball in maybe a minute, 
third, basically in the fourth quarter. Uh, uh, down ten, and, you know, so, and here he's doing it again. He's doing this to himself because what he's doing here is he's stacking the box inside. So all I have to do is kind of just run away from the blitzers. So as you see, I'm just going to run off the left tackle here with Benson. And now he's kind of in a dilemma because what he's doing is he's going for the big turnover or the big knockout, which is what I was doing a little bit too much of earlier on in the game. And he really wants the interception or the fumble, so he's blitzing a lot of people, and it's just not going to work. Because, especially against the run, I'm just going to run away from it. So, it's very frustrating, but at the same time, he's doing it to himself. Uh, now we're going to run the screen here. And we'll throw it to Jordy. Don't get anything, but that's cool. I should not have gone no huddle there. Uh... So now I'm just going to run a draw because I kind of have to. Uh, like I said before, I want to keep it in third and four, third and five situations. So I'm going to fake some hot routes here. And I'm going to pinch the line. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to slide it to the left. I'm going to run off left tackle here. Motion Jordy. And I, squeak, I squeaked in there for four, which is exactly what I wanted to do. So now, do you run or do you pass in this situation? And in my opinion, I have to go for the, the touchdown here. Um, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go down into the single back ace. Actually, no, I'm not. I can't do that yet. I'm just going to run the halfback wheel here. Uh, I'm just going to run the halfback wheel here. So I'm going to come out and spread, and then I'm going to go right into the halfback wheel with the standard hot breath, but the fate of Nelson, and just make my reads. I know he's going to be probably bringing heat. And he does, and I have him. Touchdown. So, that's good. HP Will is so good against man for blitz, any any blitz or main coverage, because it's just the wheel route, you know, it just is very good, very effective. So, I use that play when I want to beat the blitzes. But I really use it a lot in goal line, because a lot of people run and cover zero in the goal line or a blitz, because there's nothing that you can kind of hit them over the top with. But what they don't understand is that HP Will is so effective. All I need to be able to do is have that one route. And then I have every other route off that that does be what I need it to be to be effective as a complete uh, as a complete play. Uh, so now I'm just preserving the lead. Uh, so I'm going to go to that 2D. I'm going to go for the knockout blow this drive. See, this is when you go for the knockout blow. Can't get any pressure. I have dudes all over the field. I get the pick. So there's the knockout punch. I'm going to go back for six here. Well, no, I'm not. So I got two knockout picks. If I can score here, the game's over. Uh, so I'm not going to blow it. So I'm going to go back down into the weak slot. And I'm actually going to go to. I'm going to try. I'm going to try this counter this time. Straight to see if I get a look for it. Because I know he was kind of. I hit him with that zone weak a couple times, and now I think that I can kind of hit him inside with this counter trap, and I don't get anything there. And now I'm just going to run it down to the the the, the third quarter. So I'll come out any play. Okay. We'll take a little look, see if he's just blitzing everybody, but I don't think he is. Actually, oh my, look at that. Jerry came right through. I was going to get a first, too. If Jerry, if Jerry wouldn't have come in, I would have easily got outside for a first, but that was a dumb call. I should have let that run down. I didn't have any of the right plays. I, it was a stupid play. Uh, at this point, I'm not very content with going up three, but I will if I have to. So I'm gonna throw the ball, but I'm gonna throw it with caution. Uh, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna turn it over. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do here? I'm gonna go ahead and just throw a curl flat daddy one more time. Can I get it? Yeah, buddy. So I complete the out right there because he, again, guys, that was kind of what I said earlier on in the game. I was having trouble with Carl Flack in the very beginning because he was playing it very well. Uh, then I knew that I could eventually go back to it, but I had to establish something else because I had to get him out of his his defense because what he was doing was he was adjusting some part, certain types of people to beat this play. Uh, so I had to get him out of that kind of look to kind of destroy him with everything else. 
I just set up for a flat. So you, different people will do different things. And there's the draw. Because I knew he was probably dropping everybody back. Um, and I knew he wasn't expecting I knew he was either expecting HB Will, because I ran that last time, running the red zone, or whatever. So, uh, but there's that. So I'm going to actually take a picture of the score right now, just in case he disconnects it. So I get to the gallery, but again, guys, it, it, when you begin to start thinking about it, you you think, why didn't I think of that? Why didn't I think of that? It's very common sense, guys. You just have to kind of think about it a little bit. Let me go and take a picture here in the camera. So there's a little picture of the score, and I'll send that to the commissioner if he disconnects. Every time someone scores, you need to take a picture, guys. Uh, especially if you're going to play a CTM because it came back to bite me because it made it seem like I was the one trying to uh, trying to quit but that wasn't actually the case but people make stuff sound different all the time I know it's coming right here so and another pick that I should have had you see I kind of swing it out and strafe so it looks exactly like a standard zone but it's really not that is important because it makes them they don't know who your user defender is at least I don't think that they might they might know who it is, but he looks kind of stupid. Uh, he doesn't look like he's actually doing anything. But what he's actually doing is I'm really setting myself up for success. I know he's coming right here. See that? That's just top of the line. I mean, he, and why I have to guard that route to stop that play is because that route is so good, guys. Go to the Pittsburgh Steelers play the Steeler cross is what he's running, and I've ran that play actually a little bit. And I know that play is so effective. I have to use a guard that route. And I have to have perfect coverage on everything else. But I can cover everything else with my zone. But I can't cover that route. So I know that I have to sit on that and cover everything else in zone. And I have to make it look like I'm going to other routes that beat zone. Then come back off of it. So if that makes any sense at all. Uh, that's what I did there. Here he's going to be blitzing me really heavily. So I'm just going to write into mess post. Mess post is, is very good. And, and I should have ran. I should have ran more clock off there. But. Uh, I want to. I'm trying to deliver the knockout blow. I think that might have been the knockout blow. So what's going to happen now is I'm going to really be running clock. Um, I thought last time would have been the knockout blow, but since I got that pick, and I realized I can go up 23 uh, or even 24. Now that's a four possession game. Well, actually, it's still technically a three possession game, but it's a three possession game with two point conversions uh, against my defense, which my defense is one of the best in the game, you're done. I mean, especially when my offense is playing as well as it is right now. My offense is really good right now, guys. Uh, the pick I threw earlier is no, it's not really evidence because, oh, I got a lucky hit stick there. Um, the pick that I threw early on in the game is not really what my offense has been looking like. My offense has been a lot more what we saw later on in the game when it starts to really flow well. Uh, so now I can just kind of set him up in this 3-3-5. Three, three, Let me get my dude in the hook. And I gotta kinda cover that, so I'm gonna let that dude go out. Oh man. And my dude's close. Um, just three three five two men under. What I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be confusing him with this three three five because what will eventually happen is I'm gonna call something like this cover two invert, and he's gonna throw right into his own. That's why the three three five is so good. It sets itself up very good. And I know he wants to throw that streak. See the pressure comes in so quick on the right there, and now that's kind of the knockout blow. And now we're just going to look to kind of clock it out. Take him down to maybe three, maybe two, maybe three minutes. So I'm going to get Cedric Benson in the game or John Kuhn, whoever you prefer. I'm actually going to get my man. Uh, actually, no, I think I already have him in there. I want to get Jones at the other receiver, though, so I'm going to sub him in here. And real quick, we're going to try to run out the clock. I'm actually going to start out with the counter. I know he'll look for the stretch. So I got the counter here. 
And of course, I get a nice little holding penalty. Kind of wrapping up this game. Um, luckily, we finally got this fourth one to work. Let me take another picture of the score. Let me go ahead and take another picture of the score. Score for you guys. Just in case something weird happens. We call it stretch. There's another snapshot of the picture. And we're going to take note of that. I could have destroyed him when he did that with that corner there, but guys, when someone's down 24, I mean, at this point, especially in a playoff game, especially with the respect I have for this dude as a player, there's no reason to test that. I'm just going to go ahead and run the ball, run the clock, game plan properly, guys, especially in a playoff atmosphere style of a game. So at this point, I want to get to second, and I'm actually going to throw it here because I need to get to second and the third and sixth, third and seventh. So there's the out route. I'm just going to get down. And now I just run it down to maybe three minutes. So what's going to happen is you'll have about three minutes. Um, about three minutes left on the clock when he gets the ball back. And he'll have, it should be 53-21. Or not 53, 52-21. So 31 point lead. Uh, with three minutes left, I'm just going to play a lot of, uh, I'm going to blip the crap out of him. I'm going to make it. I'm going to bring pressure off both sides. I'm going to blitz like seven guys for majority of the second, majority of the next drive. Because the reason I'm going to do that, and I wouldn't, like I said, I mean, you haven't seen me do that yet. Uh, the reason I'm going to do that is what it's going to do is it's going to force him to throw the ball quick, and he's not going to be able to get any big plays because I'm going to put a four deep shell in it. So. And there we get the double team to get in there. So, four minutes down 31. Um, let me go ahead and take a picture of this score. Just to make sure. I just don't want to take any chances on this game. Because we've actually had a... I mean, every time we've had a good connection. But for whatever reason, it's disconnected. I don't know why. Two times it was because of me, I think. And one time it was because of him. Uh, our internets just don't agree with each other. I don't know. But the connection speed is, is fine. So I don't know what it is. Uh, so like I said, you're going to see more pressure on this drive. And I got, When you want to bring pressure, I recommend over the over 4-3 over plus. Uh, it's one of the best pressure formations in the game. So we're going to go right into the cover. Oh, for some reason. Ah, uh, guys, have you ever done that when you try to pass commit and it, like, I think they need to make that button L1. Or not L1, but R2. I mean, not R. Yeah, R2, because R2 is not really used for anything, but it is what it is. So you're going to have good coverage. Yeah, see, that's good pressure. Pressure gets in right as soon as they break open. So, If he's going to keep sending five people out on a route, then I'm not going to bring heavy pressure. Hopefully it doesn't close here. Play it out, bro. Come on. I have mad respect for your skill, man, but don't just quit. I'm not going to give you permission to quit either because then you're going to make it sound like I told you to quit. <laughs> Maybe you need a break. Let's cancel that. Uh, take this moment in time. I'll show you the uh, show you my depth chart, I guess, real quick for this uh, uh, CCM. Got Rogers. 
I got a die, Logan, and Vincent. I kind of run with whoever. I use a die as a balance back. And look at this, guys. A die's catch is 80. Uh, probably one of the best of the game. Again, Logan has more of a spectacular catch. Uh, a die's more consistent, but I mean, you, you gotta get what you got. You got heavy speed here, more balance here, heavy run here, kind of a more of a balance, but yet still a strong running back. So. Pretty balanced. Uh, from the outside, I've got Jennings, Cobb, and Nelson, and Driver. I didn't see the, show you the rest, but uh, or Jennings, Cobb, Nelson, and Jones. So, but we're plus, and we're gonna keep calling this cover four. Actually, here I'm gonna call cover two. See. Pressure is not gonna come in that time. For whatever reason, dude, this dude's dudes always break tackles. Like, I'm not gonna give up a touchdown, so I see I just kind of ran out. But for whatever reason, his dudes break a ton of tackles. And see now I'm getting the cover four show. He was late on his read there because he had the dude open. Um, now I'm going to go to a cover six. I didn't get my dude. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Dang it. I think the cover six is the best one for my blitz. For my over plus blitzes because it give me that my dude's right there. Ah. Now I'm gonna go to my favorite blitz in the game. It's not even a blitz, it's more of a coverage. It's more of a weird coverage, but it works like a blitz because the pressure Ah, oh, I didn't get it off. I'm gonna call timeout. So this basically is the game. I I mean I stopped in my win. I probably would win anyway, but you know, this is kind of the closing. Got it off. Good. So I just got to watch this streak here. I should be good. Watch the outside. Watch the outside. Shade. Yep. There we go. So good stop there by me. Uh, 2152. My ball. Game over. Uh, now it's just time to run clock. I love this weak slot uh, formation. It, it allows you to do a lot of things. I don't have room for all the stuff you can do from it in my audibles. Because then I wouldn't be able to go to five different sets at the line of scrimmage, but, you know, for the most part, this formation is very effective. This power O, I don't know how to, I've never really done well with auto motion plays because it kind of gives away where you're going, but this power O is not that bad. Here you see nine rushes for 72 yards. I mean, Stephon Logan is a beast, guys. Don't let anyone tell you he's not. The dude is, for a free agent, I mean, I picked him up when I came into the league out of free agency. I mean, this dude's probably got, and I think over the course of this year, 600 yards for me total. I played like I said seven games so uh, he's 600 yards rushing. He's probably probably 100 yards receiving so I mean you know the dude is very very important to this offense especially him and die and Coon and Benson a lot of things you can do with that so don't let the running I think the Packers running backs are a little bit of an underrated portion of their offense. Now what I like a Jeff Dimps or what I like a Michael Turner or DeMarco Murray, or more of an elite style. Yeah, I would like that. But the reality is, it's just not going to happen. Send me a text. Why do I cheat all game? Um, so, here's the, the text message. I don't know if you guys can see it, but basically it says, why do I cheat all game? I don't know how I cheated. Um, so... You guys have got to see the game. Uh, I really don't. I feel like I got cheated, but I don't know how I cheated. But uh, you know that's how people are when they lose by you know 20, 30 points. Uh, I'm not running. I'm not even running no huddle. Uh, 
you know, he ran the same play the whole game. I mean, he ran that crossing route, he ran that streak, and then he ran bench out of that. I mean, the three plays he ran, I mean, realistically, guys, even if they are the three best plays in the game, it's not going to happen for you. That's why I don't run zone across stop all game. Because eventually, I'm going to lock in on that streak one too many times, and I'm going to get picked. Uh, so... He says, I nanoed, I rocketed, and I no huddled. And I told you guys how to stop that blitz from this, from that formation. I'm actually going to go into practice. I'm going to teach you how to stop blitzes like that. For, just for anyone who wants to continue to say that it's a nano blitz. No blitz in this game that I found is a nano blitz. Every blitz can be slip protect. Every blitz can be stopped. The reality is you have to get in a lab. You have to work on it. You have to stop, you have to stop complaining about it. And you have to learn how to stop it. It's not about complaining because you got beat. It's about learning why you got beat. So, people are going to say whatever they want. The reality is, you know, I did not nano blitz you at all. See, that's a nano. See, that what he did there was a nano. Um, that actually is a nano. I will say that. And I know I said there's no nano blitz in this game, but that is a nano blitz. What it is is a user rush. When you see that, that's when you know it's nano blitz. Um, because what he's doing is he's taking his dude and he's giving him a turbo boost off the line of scrimmage and my tackle will not block him. So, now I'm just running this zone, re zone weak play just to run clock. I could run stretch from both iPhone Pro Twin. I should have done that actually. I should have gave him different looks but ran the same concepts. That was kind of stupid on my part because he kind of locked in on that. That's why he stopped me. Uh, but it is what it is. Uh, but again, I don't know. I'm actually going to go into in practice run after this game. I'm going to show you guys how to stop my blitzes that I run. Uh, because people need to learn that there is no nano blitz in this game. The only thing I would truly call nano would be some user rushes. And even then, you're leaving yourself really vulnerable to, you know, outside runs. Uh, base line. See, he's going to run that streak. I'm just going to, see, I'm right there. I'm holding triangle. For whatever reason, I can't catch it. That's fine. And that will happen with, I mean, a good play like that, that will happen. You know, don't think just because you are a good mind or a good defense or whatever. That's not going to happen. It will happen. Um, I'm actually going to do... Pressure right. Got it in. And all I'm doing is I'm bringing different blitzes from different coverages. He's going so fast that there's... I mean, he's not even analyzing the defense. He's not even seeing the shift formations. I went to the 4-4-2 deep and ran a edge pressure blitz. But, I mean, he's just, at this point, he's really upset. With him. He's upset with me, but I think he's really upset with himself. And he just doesn't want to be, he doesn't want to take responsibility, which is okay. People do that, but it's fine. Uh, so there's a pick, and that's going to be it. Um, I really want to run that in on him because he said I cheated, but it is what it is. And I'm actually going to kneel it out. Actually, I can't kneel it out, can I? I need one first down, and then I can. So I'm going to go to the stretch. Or no, actually not. Just Logan in here. Do I have a counter? Oh, I'm going to toss him. I don't want to keep running the stretch, because eventually he's going to be able to stop the stretch. So. And it off sides for some reason. I think he was trying to use the rest of the middle A gap there, but find that out of respect. It's worth it shifts because it's not gonna matter. Little power row here. I'm gonna pass just so I can get a first down and then run the clock out. What was that? Uh, um actually don't know. Let's go to the store.